Good morning. Good morning from Bali, magical Bali. One of the things that I really love about it here is that the nature is so big. It's so in your face. And you can look out into nature and you can, I mean, you can hear the jungle alive now. And every morning you wake up to this and you look into the jungle and you see so many different forms of life so many different patterns of consciousness out there and it's outrageous and it blows your mind you're like wow look at all of this that life did and the more I look into it the more aware I become of it the more aware I become the more that I see and what I recognize is that there's this potentiality in consciousness and Harish Wallace talks about this a lot in the recognition sutras or Shimaraja talks about it a lot in the recognition sutras, that there is a latent potentiality within consciousness, a desire to express through consciousness, through all of these forms. And so then what I see is that I am another form. I can look out into that jungle and be absolutely blown away by all of the intelligence that is running through life to create all of these manifest, manifold, incredible expressions of life, but you are also one of those incredible expressions. Life has chosen to take form as you. How amazing is that? So that's where we're going to play today. I'm going to explore the potentiality of consciousness, the potentiality of you. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to tune in to the sounds that are in your room or beyond, or the sounds that are coming through from the jungle here in Bali. And take a moment to sink in to your awareness. And from that place of conscious present awareness, from that place of witnessing Let us offer one sweet om. And let this be your song to your own potential, to the life that courses through you. Inhale deeply. Om. Eyes closed, come to lie on your belly, forehead to the earth, arms out in front in prayer, in a full pranam. And take a moment to bow down to all of life. Take a moment to set the intention to flood your whole body with awareness as you move through this practice. Staying close to yourself so that you can explore the potential of each pose, the potential of your breath, the potential of this body, the potential of this life that has taken shape in the form of you. Bring your arms out wide into a T. Forehead to the earth, roll over onto your right side. Keep your right shoulder and your right temple to the earth and press into the left fingertips. 
Flex the toes and find a little light through the center line of your body. Take a moment to soften into the earth. Let her rise up to meet you. <sighs> Take an exhale out of your mouth. As you gently open the shoulder, open your practice, and get more firmly anchored into your awareness. Step the left foot behind you and come into a bit more of a twist. Just opening up the thoracic spine a little. Notice what you notice. Big, full, ujjayi breath. And your next exhale, super slow, with full awareness, roll to the second side. Left temple to the earth, left shoulder to the earth. And find a gentle drawing inwards through the center line of your body. And take it into a twist. So step the right foot behind you. Two more full breaths. Breathe into the sensation. Allow it all to be there. And inhale back to center. Forehead to the earth. Bring your hands in line with your rib cage. Bring your feet together and spread the toes. So root down through the toenails, even the little toe side. Now, as if your big toes were a light switch, as you press the mounds of the big toes together, illuminate the whole of the inner seam of your leg. Illuminate all the way up through the core lines of your legs. Lift the thighs away from the knees and let that drawing of energy gather through your pelvic floor, your low belly, and sweep your heart into a cobra, baby cobra. Exhale and lower, bring your hands wider than the mat. Come onto fingertips if you wish. Inhale for a count of four. And hold for four. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. And hold, two, three, four. Exhale. Move in your own time to your own breath. Super strong through the legs, so you find this potent line of energy all the way from the big toe mound, all the way up through the inner seam of the legs, all the way through the pelvic floor, and use your car to get more length and space. So you lower the bottom ribs, middle ribs, and heart. Take one more. Place your hands, press to all fours, and take some free movement. Close your eyes. Let awareness take you where she wants to go. So drop any ideas about what you think you should be doing, what you think it should look like. And just allow awareness to move you in her innate autonomy, awareness is free. Awareness is not bounded by our conditioning, our thoughts. It is aware. It's simply aware. And let that freedom move through you. Let that freedom move you. Bring some side bends and twists into your free play.
exhale deeply through the mouth anytime the energy wants to move. Anytime information wants to pass through. Come to downward facing dog. Keep your eyes closed, spread your fingers wide, and draw the arms towards each other and extend from the shoulders. Switch the legs on. Lift through pelvic floor, sit bones, and wrap the front body to the back body. Take five breaths in stillness. With every part of you activated, alive, awake, and aware. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bring your feet together, spread the toes, place them back on the floor, press the light switch on with your big toe, illuminate through the inseam of your legs, bend your knees deeply, Utkatasana, chair pose. At the back of your mat. Hug everything into that center so you get this aliveness all the way through the key lines of your body, the core lines of your body, and now sit deeper into yourself, into the pose. As you sit deeper, gather up more through pelvic floor, low belly, solar plexus, and root back down and express through your fingers. Inhale to rise, hook the thumbs, come onto the balls of the feet, draw the inner ankles together. Light up all the way through the center so that you become this potent shape, this potent expression of complete awareness, fully aware of every part of your body, making sure that every part of you is switched on, illuminated, present. Breathe. powerful, potent arrow of intention that you can make yourself when you are fully aware. Exhale, hands to the heart. Ah, take a deep breath, close your eyes. Become aware of all the awakenings in your body. All the parts of you that are now more awake than they were before, more alive, your heart pumping blood around your body, your lungs drawing more oxygen into your cells. All of this dialogue, this intelligent communication happening inside the organism of you. Open your eyes, sweep your heart. Exhale deeply bow to Uttanasana, to yourself, to the 75 trillion cells in your body. Inhale to plank. Keep the legs together so you can keep that mark of aliveness, of illumination, of awake. Lower to the earth, exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Come all the way down, full pranam, hands in prayer. I bow down to all of life, to all that I am, to all of the potential within me. Inhale to cobra, open up to your whole self. Exhale your hands back to your feet. And inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the heart. Exhale, deeply bow. Inhale, walk yourself out to plank. And exhale, lower to the earth. 
प्रणाम नमस्कार मेक योर ऑफरिंग एंकर इन टू योर इंटेंशन फ्लड योर बॉडी विद अवेयरनेस मेक दिस योर फुल बॉडी प्रेयर इनहेल टू कोबरा Exhale, hands back to the feet. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take one full offering, one full pranam namaskar in your own time. Give your whole self to yourself. Inhale to rise. Ah, exhale out of the mouth. Draw your hands down to the center of your chest. Move into the heart of awareness. Move into the potency of your awareness, and experience the aliveness within you. Bend the knees deeply. Sweep the arms behind you. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Switch on through the. Big mound of the big toe, or the toe, the mound of the big toe. Sing deeply into your seat. Gather in. Light yourself up. Bring your whole self into this pose. And now press into the earth with the left foot and draw the right knee into the chest. Spread the toes. Reach the fingers. Active and awake and alive. Right to the very edges of your body, from the center out. Bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. Hands into prayer. Stick your seat back. Standing pigeon. Deepest breath. Find this balance of calm alertness in your body. Balancing parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system, so that we move into this state of flow. Move your arms in whatever way you choose as you start to express yourself in this pose. Inhale to rise. Draw the knee into the chest. Exhale, Ukatasana. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. Inhale, second side. Left knee to the chest. Spread the toes. Give it a little more juice. A little more you. Left ankle on top of right knee, hands into prayer. Second side, take your seat. And as you seat yourself inside yourself, allow awareness to guide your arms, to guide the shape. Finding new expressions and different levels of potential. Inhale to rise. Draw the left knee in. Place the foot. Exhale. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms down and behind you. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Sweep the arms across the floor and behind. Inhale to rise. Keep going. And with every exhale, release another limiting belief. Release something else that is getting in the way of potential moving through you. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers. Sweep the heart wide open. Bend the knees and fold. Uttanasana. Uttanasana, folding forward. Bend. Badhasta, bound hands. Breathe. Breathe and go inside. Expand your breath into the front, back, and side, so you maximise the potential of your lungs. Release your head. Take your arms a little further. Lift your sit bones a little higher. Light up through the hamstrings.
release. Down dog. Feet hip distance. Press into the earth as she presses back into you and extend from the shoulders, reach through the sit bones, corset front body to back body. Notice how stable and strong you are when you get super awake and alive and active and aware through your whole body, when everything is switched on, where might you be asleep? What parts of you might be in shadow that need to be awakened? Lift the right leg to the sky, bend the knee and open the hip in whatever way the hip wants to open. So that might be circles with the knee. You might keep the legs straight and unfold the hips. You might bend the knee. If you want to allow the body to open to the right, then by all means do. Offer up to your hips, your awareness, your attention. Second side. Down dog, right leg to the sky. Extend through the heel, reach from the shoulders, draw pelvic floor, low belly in. And breathe into the intentional potency that you have activated in this shape. Is there a little more potential there? Exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand for lizard. Lower the back knee, pause. Ah, walk the hands a little forwards and find this yield of your hands to the earth. So not propping up, not collapsing down, but a softness as you close your eyes, bow your head in, breathe into the back of your body. Anchor into the heart of your awareness your most potent self. You can either stay here, come onto your forearms, or walk your hands in a little, bend the back knee. In fact, let's do this first. Turn the toes to two o'clock on the right side and come onto the edge of the foot. Turn the left fingertips out to three and bring your right hand inside your inner right thigh. Draw the front heel to the back knee. So we're going to get lit up through the center line and see how the torso naturally lifts. It follows the line of energy. Use the traction, the leverage of the hand on the knee to twist, the hand on the thigh. Bend the back knee, reach behind for the back foot and draw the heel towards the seat, the seat towards the heel, drawing everything in towards the solar plexus. And then draw that in and up and take all of that energy into the center of your chest as you lift through the back of the heart, externally rotating through both shoulders to create more space, more broadness across the collarbones so you can exalt yourself in this pose so you can find a full expression and potential. Release. Heel toe the foot to be underneath the knee. Press into a standing split. Keep the toes pointing down towards the earth. Square the hips. Reach out through the heel. Inhale, turn the toes to nine o'clock. Find that big external rotation through both hips. Exhale, turn the toes back down to the earth. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Pasavottanasana Pyramid Pose. Step the back foot back. Toes point out to 11 o'clock. About three feet distance between your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Use the bricks if you need them. 
switch that light on with the big toe, light up all the way through the inseam of the legs, lift the thighs away from the knees, and now draw the sit bones to the tailbone. Pause. Get everything super alive and awake. And now let that carry through pelvic floor, low belly, into the heart, into your expression. Exhale, bow. And take a moment here to breathe so fully into every chamber of your lung, into all the chambers of your heart. Sending that breath down through the blood, the interstitial fluid into the intercellular fluid where you feed yourself with oxygen or where you are fed with oxygen as you are breathed by life. Keep all of that aliveness through your legs. Stay fully awake in your connection to the earth. Bring your left hand inside your right foot or to the outside of your right foot. Right hand to your sacrum. Draw sit bones to tailbone. See how that gives you more length through the spine and open out to the right. Full engagement through your core. Reach your right hand to the sky. And in this fully awake expression, the Paravrita Trikonasana or Paravrita Pasvottanasana. As you are fully aware and awake, continue to explore the expression of the pose in your form, in your body, in your reality. Look to the earth, half moon, nice, aware, simple transition. Take it one step at a time so that you can make sure that you go through that process of flooding your body with awareness reach through the light switch of the big toe light up through the inner thighs make sure you're not hyper extending through the supporting leg find an external rotation of that right leg and find an internal rotation of the left and that screwing into center that certainty is going to give you more support left hand reaches either stay here or come into chapasana, so bend the left knee. Super slow, catch the foot. Draw all the way in to center. So gather in, gather in and flood your awareness all the way through your body. Fully aware in this moment. And then begin to open more and more and more to what's possible. As you propel your heart forwards, as you allow it to reveal itself. Use your core. Release. Both hands to the earth, square the hip. Send the left foot to the back of the mat. Vashastasana. Come into side plank, modify if you need to, which would be stepping the right foot in front. Either stay here, come to wild thing, or bend the right knee for a chapasana form here. Find the whole of the left foot. Find a complete connection of foot and hand to earth and hand to foot. Now draw in, gather in, illuminate through the center line. Allow the pose to receive the potency of your awareness, of your full activation, and now express that through the center of your heart. Take it into wild thing when you're ready. If you wish to come into full wheel from wild thing, by all means do. Otherwise, join me in down dog when you're ready. Big exhale, ah, big sigh. Three more breaths and dog.
left leg to the sky. And let's just bend the knee and open the hip out there and see the difference on that side. Should be a little warmer. You should have opened up a little more potential in that hip. Step the left foot outside the left hand, is it second side. Take a moment to pause. <sighs> Take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to drink in the potency of life force coursing through you. Either come onto your forearms or walk your hands in. Turn your foot to 10 o'clock. Come onto the outside edge. Turn the right hand uh, fingers to three. Left hand to the inner thigh. Now draw the front heel towards the back knee. Press the left palm into the inner thigh to get some rotation. Bend the back knee. Draw the heel towards the seat. Keep gathering in and in and in and in so everything starts to move towards your heart, all your energy, all your focus, all your attention, all of that work to open starts to be expressed and explodes, pours, spills out through the center of your chest as you become more and more full with life, with energy, with potency. Release, heel to the foot back in line with your hip. Come to standing split. Toes point to the earth, root out through both heels, light up through the inseam. Inhale, open the hips, turn the toes to three o'clock. Exhale, turn the toes to the earth. Close your eyes, move in your own time to your own breath and explore the external rotation of the femur bone in the acetabulum, the hip joint. Explore the support of the big muscle groups, the tendons, all the tissue working to support you in this movement. How supported you are all the time in your intentions. We forget. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Oh, sorry, not to the back of the mat, into pose, Votanasana pyramid pose. It's about three feet distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Switch the light on, illuminate through the core lines of the body, through the pelvic floor, low belly, sweep the heart, exhale, bow in. Is there anywhere else in your legs that you are not switched on? Draw your sit bones to your tailbone. Thighs are lift away from the knees. Bring the right hand inside the left foot or to the outside, left hand to the sacrum. Paravrita Pasvotanasana. Draw the sit bones, the tailbone to get more length, more length, and then open. Know that by flooding your body with awareness, by coming back to awareness again and again, and letting that be the ground from which you move, that your potential will unfold and unfold and unfold in every moment. That potentiality wants to move through you. Half moon. Right hand to the hip as you get steady and strong and aware. Gather in first and then extend out to the world. Take the chapasana form, draw in, gather it all in, light everything up, become so awake, so aware, so fully present to every unfolding as this pose opens for you, as you allow it to open for you, with your heart exulting forwards. And stay in the experience. If you're in half moon, 
you can take a standing split. Square the hips. Vashastasana, right foot to the back of the mat, place the right hand, press the earth away, lift the hips high, squeeze the legs together and take your choice. Wild thing or the chapasana form. So grab the foot, press into the earth with the whole of the right foot, press the earth away with the right hand and now press the foot into the hand as you draw in to center. Mm. And reveal yourself because you are amazing. Wild thing. Slowly bring it back to down dog. Inhale to plank. Lower to the air. And take a full pranam. Take a big exhale out of your mouth. Feel life pulsing through you, coursing through you. Feel into all of the sensation, the effervescence, the tingling, the aliveness. Ah, drink it all in. Life has created a form by which it may know itself. And that form is you. You are the one divine consciousness made flesh. Your task is simply to become aware of this miracle. Taken from the recognition sutras from Harish Wallace. Written by Shemaraja some thousand years ago. Come into Sphinx. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Close your eyes. Soften your hands and your arms, and as if your hands were sinking slowly into firm, wet clay. The soft, wet juiciness of the clay receiving your hands as you yield down into the earth. Allow this experience to travel through your forearms, elbows, belly, legs, tops of your feet. Every part of you connected to the earth begin to yield into the soft, wet clay. Allow it to take your shape as it holds you. Gravity is a force that draws two things towards each other. So Earth is being drawn to you as much as you are drawn down to Earth. Allow all of your cells, layer upon layer upon layer, to surrender down. And allow your bones to get heavy and begin to bow your head super slow in this progressive yield. Breathe into your kidneys, the space behind the bottom back ribs. Breathe there to keep you connected as much to the space above as to the earth below. And every exhale, surrendering a little more. It is through weight that we gain more presence. Allowing gravity to anchor us more fully down. Allowing us to find that connection between ourselves and the earth.
this huge organism of which we are a cell of. Stay in relationship to the yielding process. The yield is the bridge between yourself and the earth, between yourself and the space above as you breathe into it. The yield is the allowance. And when we allow and we remove the limitations and the barriers, the ideas, the conditioning, the programming, And we can allow life to move through us. Allow, allow, allow. Bring your forehead to your hands, Makarasana. Turn your feet out and just take a moment to receive. Ah, take an exhale out of the mouth. Roll over onto your back. Bring your feet the width of the mat. Take your knees over to the right side. Place your right foot on top of your left thigh. You may want to walk your shoulders down the mat a little. So we get this hip opener, this twist. Allowing the lower back to release whilst opening, lengthening through the thighs. Plexus, the sacred psoas. Take a big full breath into both lungs. Ah. Steadily take it over to the second side. Lift your hips to center and then take your hips over to the right. Let your knees fall to the left. Left foot on the outside of the right thigh. Work the shoulders down. Breathe into the lengthening and opening and softening. Allow, allow, allow. Release, square the hips back off and send your arms and legs to the sky, receiving bug. We'll just have a minute here to allow everything to return downwards, everything to pour downwards, all of the fluid, all of the blood. Allow your bones to sink deeply into the sockets. Ah, and receive, receive yourself. When you're ready, lower your arms and legs down and come into Shavasana. A complete surrender to the earth. Soften and sink back into the potency of your awareness, allowing everything to rise up within its field thoughts, emotions, feelings. Don't try to change anything. Allow it all to be there as you abide within loving awareness. Awareness doesn't pick or choose or 
not allow anything to be there. Everything can arrive within its field and dissolve back into it. Become awareness. If you wish to stay in Shavasana, by all means do, and allow the closing to wash over you. Otherwise, send your awareness to the top layer of your fingers, the top layer of skin. And from that place, begin to micro-move your fingers. Allow awareness to wake you up in whatever way it chooses, so don't think about it. Just let your body move and open however it wishes. Find your way to a comfortable seat. And bring your hands into prayer. Once you become aware, everything you do becomes an act of reverence. All acts become awareness, simply bowing to itself. I bow to you and the potential that you are. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.